Hi, Chris Walls from Second Swing. We're in Minnetonka today at our Second Swing Minnetonka location. I'm with James Tracy, one of our master fitters here. James, how's it going? It's going well, Chris. Good Great to see, to see you. you. Welcome back. We're in the tour van, one of my favorite places. I geek out every time I come in here. It's just unbelievable. And what we're going to talk about today is a Second Swing tour van fitting kind of what that looks like, what the player can expect, and why they want to try to take advantage of the service if they can at one of our stores. Well, you know, our tour van fitting is definitely geared, like you labeled yourself, for the, for the club junkie. The players that really want to take advantage of that fitting process are players looking at new equipment, really want to understand which head fits them the best when you're looking at a driver. You know, maybe you have preferences on iron technology. You know, what happens if I make the head a little smaller or a little bigger? How does that affect my ball flight? How does that affect feel? Uh, how does that affect performance? Um, obviously, shafts are a big deal in custom fitting, right? We have over 50,000 head shaft combinations in our tour van. So how do we navigate all those options? And so with the tour van fitting, you know, we really have a detailed process that helps us walk through every variable, variable as we're trying to build that golf club correctly. And it's a good learning experience, too. I mean, whether you're a proclaimed junkie or if maybe it's your first fitting. Uh, yeah. But you are looking for something new. Our fitters are really going to take you through that process and make sure that you understand not only what we're looking for in the ball flight, but why that particular club is working better. And that will give you more confidence with it when you get to the course. And the tour van fittings are appointment services. Yes. Yep. And the length of the appointment varies based on the actual fitting you're going through. Correct. What does the consumer need to know before they come in? What do you want them to know? You know, they've made an appointment. They're coming in at 2 o'clock. What do they need to do in terms of preparation to come in for their fitting? Well, first of all, don't feel any pressure. Just be excited. I mean, this should be a really fun experience. There's no pressure to, you know, give us tour numbers or to be intimidated by the fitter. You know, really just embrace the fact that you're going to hit golf clubs for an hour, and we all should get a kick out of that. So that would be expectation one. Just come in with some excitement and an open mind, too. Um, I would not, you know, beat yourself up on the range or play 18 holes to warm up, you know, in a fitting process. You know, it's a condensed time. So even if you're looking at a driver, you know, over an hour, we're going to hit probably about 40 shots. Yeah. So you're going to get warm, and, and you're also going to get tired throughout the fitting experience. So you don't need to go to the range for two hours beforehand or play around a golf. You know, come, come a little early. You know, we usually have a bay that's open. If you come in 15 minutes before your appointment, we'll allow you to warm up a little bit. You know, the first couple minutes of the fitting is that fitter is interviewing the, the player about, you know, what they're looking for and checking the measurements of their clubs that'll afford you some time to hit a few shots before we take any measurements so um, you know come a little early come excited um, you know maybe figure out a little bit about the different types of clubs that you might be looking at you know whether you do some research online or you go to a demo day or you stop in one of our stores to test some product beforehand you know having some opinions on things can help the fitter out a little bit and you talked briefly about the interview process and I know that's a big part yeah. of you getting the person you're working with into the right clubs, you know, understanding what exactly they're looking for. What are, what are some of the, maybe an example of a couple of questions that a customer can expect you to ask them specifically? Absolutely. So let's say we're working on iron, for example. You know, I think that you know, the distance is always something that comes up. But as a fitter, I want to learn a lot more about a player's performance than just how far their seven iron goes. You know, I talk to them about, let's say we're working with a seven iron. Well, what, what yardage would you feel comfortable using that club from? And when it gets to the green, is it usually fading or usually drawing or is it pretty straight? What's their goals? I play a draw. So to me, a great seven iron has a nice draw, but another player might prefer to hit a fade. So I want to make sure that as I'm watching that player hit shots, that what they see as a good shot is also what I see as a good shot. Make sure that we're speaking the same language. When it comes to the club itself, you know, how do you feel about your current clubs? Do they feel heavy? Do they feel light? Are they too clunky for what I like? Or do I feel like I'm intimidated by the size and I want something that's a little bit bigger? You know, I might have some goals for and know how the equipment plays a role to give them the performance they're looking for. But I also want to know what that player is looking for. You know, at the end of the day, you really want to like your clubs. Right. Um, so the goal in fitting is complementing a player's tendencies with equipment that has the characteristics to improve the ball flight and consistency in the way we want, but also match their preferences. And I think it's a, a great point that people need to understand is that golf is such a visual game. Definitely. Like you mentioned, the liking the look of the clubs you're playing, seeing the ball in a certain window or a certain shape is so important. Right. And also when it comes to fitting visually, 
you know, you get a lot of reinforcement from the numbers and we've got some of the best technology available yes. to really kind of help you do your job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I and mean, it, makes it, it makes it easy. Um, you know, club fitting can be a challenge. Um, you know, 10, 15 years ago when you're just hitting into a screen or out onto the range, it's hard to evaluate performance. Well, now with the numbers, you know, as we teach our customers and the players that we work with, you know, what we're looking for, you know, what is ball speed? What types of spin rates should I have with a seven iron? If I lower the spin with my irons, how does that affect distance and how does it affect stopping power? And what's the, what's the break even there? And so when we establish those goals, and then we're looking at the different clubs that we test. It's very easy to make head decisions and shaft decisions once you understand what the science is and the right mathematics to create that performance. And it's fun too. Um, you know, customers will enjoy leaving with a little bit more knowledge about, you know, the physics of how the ball moves. You know, understanding shaft technology, flex and weight, and what that really does to influence my swing and feel and what my golf ball does. And I think that confidence in your equipment is ultimately what's going to lead to lower scores. And so I think our fitting process really helps players accomplish that. And I think another thing that's great is if the player comes in, invest the time, invest the money to go through this type of bidding, we're not going to send them out the door and that's it. Right. We, we're invested too, so there's going to be a follow-up experience as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, our first time getting to know each other just allows us to proactively arm you with better equipment than you have. But the fine-tuning really comes once you've played it in your natural environment, which is out on your course. Hitting those different shots, being faced with a shot over water, or that tight par four that you never seem to find the fairway with. You know, can we make those uh, situations better with your equipment? And once you've had some time with your new toys to get to know them a little bit, we have you back in for a follow-up appointment. That might be on an iron set to double-check loft and lies, or maybe some gap fitting you know, how do the new irons play with your wedges? Do we need to make any changes to the gap wedge or your sand wedge to get proper gapping or proper feel? You know, the hybrid three wood, it's always a tough uh, club to not only hit, but to find the right yardages. And so, you know, every time we recommend new clubs for the customer, we want to make sure that the experience they had in the fitting and the performance that we saw in the fitting is also what they're getting outside. And we want to make sure that they feel welcome to come back in and continue to tinker and improve uh, with the guidance of the fitter so that long term you know we've created a good a good marriage and to put it in sort of like the simplest terms that somebody could understand this is really a tour level kind of experience these are this is the same type of work that these tour guys are doing to play their equipment which adds validation to how important fitting can be in terms of translating to success on the golf course right. I mean I think that what you get from a tour level fitting is you know you realize that the fitter is helping that tour player you know with their livelihood you know that is that is how they make and break uh, their scores it can come down to one stroke on the tour you know so they're grinding over lying goal shaft and ball speed you know with that in mind and I think our fitters take the same amount of um, uh, passion and intensity when they're trying to help just you know the regular golfer we are passionate about making you better James thanks for the explanation hey, we appreciate you it bet. absolutely